so far we did vowels, consonants, diacritical marks. We did uh, verbs, uh, movement, <coughs> what they call action words. Action words. I try to create sentence with all these. Oh, and I did kinship. I did kinship with you guys. No. No. Okay, we'll do kinship tonight. And then <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll start with a. Uh, we'll start with a boy. Okay. Okshila. Okay. He calls his calls his dad. Ate. Don't forget your all your sounds. Ah, te. Right here. He calls his brothers, his dad's brothers. If he has one or two or three brothers, he calls them all ate. Once you get a hang of it on, on your Lakota balls, you don't have to be writing those H's on there because it's A, E, E, U. Like those up there. He calls all the wives on this side Tungwi. Tungwi. Big brother. He calls him Chie. Oh. Chie. Chie. Don't forget your E's in there. He calls his little brother. <laughs> Misunkala. Okay. If you want to talk in short, short terms, you say Sunkawaye. Little brother, Sunkawaye. Remember, it's almost, if you put a dot over that S, what does it change to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you put a dot over the S, it comes into shunka. But it's a regular S, so you just say sunka waieki. Sunka waie. And the funny thing about it is sunka <coughs> wa ye. Ki. Okay. I can say, I can say, um, ate, but I can't say, remember I was writing those ones down here, mi, ma, ni, and he. Mi and ma are, are me. Ni is this one or this one. And here is that one over there. That's only three of the conjugations I'm using. So I can't say ma'ate and I can't say mi'ate. Isn't that strange? It's a real um, formal speech. So if I wanted to say my dad, I would say uh, de wa yeki. 
my dad. I can say, I can't say me cheer, I can't say my cheer. I have to say cheer wayeki. Me Sunkala, my little brother. But I can't just say Sunkala. <laughs> you have to say Sunkawa Yeki. Isn't that strange? But I can say Ni Ate, I can say Ni Chia, and I can say Ni Sunkala. Ni Sunkalaki. Your brother. But I can't say He Sunkayeki. Yeah, I can say that. I can say he. He is different. <laughs> he, I can say he is sunkayeki. Because wayeki is mine. Me sunkala. Same with his ina. Okay. E. Na. <coughs> you can always say ina wayeki. Formal speech. I can say ni ina. No, even then, I th yeah, you can say that ni ina, ina ya, ina ina ya ya, ina ya ya, ina ya ki, ina ya ki. Okay, ina ya ki is different. It's it's your mom. Your little sister is, oh, the girl, it's the girl. Tang-shi, tang-shi, okay, two terms, tang-ke, wai-ye-ki. That's how you, if you was a boy, you would call your older sister Tanke. Tanke Wayeki. My sister. If he had a male cousin, or cousins, all of them. Oops, that's not even an easel. It's Tahashi. Tahashi. So all their male cousins are Tahashi. As a boy. All your female cousins are Hankashi. If your mom had a bunch of sisters, you call them all Ina. And all their kids will be your sisters and your brothers. If your dad had brothers, they will all be your Ates. If your mom had a brother, Your mom's brother like she okay like she that's your mom's brother so my mom has a brother he's my like she all their kids are my first cousins even though her sister on this side, my mom is my mom, and all her kids are my brothers and sisters. The girl, all different names again, except for the Ate and the Ina.
when you're writing all this, don't forget. Ah, uh, you know, E E E and E H. That way you learn how to spell your words. Your other uncle, or his brothers will be out there. <coughs> Same thing as that. You know, will be twins. Okay. When it comes down further, her brothers, older brothers, are all T below. Can't say me tibolo. It has to be tibolo waiyeki. Little brothers. I think this is the only word that um, that comes up twice as little. And. Uh, the boys would say Sunkawaiki, the girls would say Misu. You call her little brother Misu. They come up with that. <coughs> the girls, you have Chue. There's where the Chue is. Big sister. These are all written. They're already all out there. They're in books. Everybody's been writing them and all this stuff. And Mitankala. Me sunkala, me trunkala, me trunkala. I used to tease my little sister. I really like to tease all the time and laugh. And uh, I always get people, I always get people mad. But when I first started learning these words, I used to call my sister um, me trunkala. <laughs> e trunkala is a mouse, right? So I called her me trunkala. <laughs> she used to get mad at me. I'm not a mouse, you know. She used to yell at me, but that's what I used to joke with her about that. Okay. She cheshi. She cheshi. That's a male cousin. A male cousin from a girl. A male cousin. She is she. Um Female cousin, je prends she. Je prends she, female cousin. Female to female cousin. Even this is only the beginning. I never even went into um, marriage names. Maybe I should, because you can. Let me see. I can think of something. Okay, as a a boy. His brother-in-law, okay, brother-in-law.
Uh-huh. And then for a sister-in-law, is um, Hanka. Hankashi? Is that the same thing as a cousin? Okay, that's the sister-in-law for the girl. Okay? I'll get it right yet. Okay, sister-in-law and law. Brother in law, is hmm? Oh, yeah, she <laughs> chair. She chair. She chair and chair. That's where all these little come in. Chee, chee. Chee, She chair and chair. Jabha. <laughs> I think it's Hanka, right? Sister in law? Yeah. Okay. It's Hanka. Okay. Hanka Waiki. Yeah. I was trying to picture somebody saying it then. Hanka Waiki. And all those, you can't use any of those. You have to use Waiyeki, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, Shichi Waiyeki, son-in-law, what does it say? Tacos. Oh, Tacos. <laughs> tacos. Tacos Waiyeki. The reason why this word is not very important is that you can't talk to your brother-in-law. I mean, you can't talk to your son-in-laws and you can't talk to your daughter-in-laws. <laughs> it's very illegal. And I said, yes, that's the best part in Lakota language I have. I don't have to talk to my son-in-laws and my daughter-in-laws. <laughs> but you're not allowed to talk to... You're also not allowed to talk to your mother-in-laws. You're not allowed to talk to your father-in-laws. Father-in-law is father-in-law. Tunka? Okay. Tunka. Tunka shi. Tunka shi. I just remember, I have a I have a father-in-law, but he's Winnebago, so I called him Choka. They have a whole different name. Mother-in-law is uh, shh. Well, you know how to spell mother. <laughs> Mother-in-law. Unchishi. Unchishi. Unchishi, that's what you call mother-in-law, Unchishi. You call your mother-in-laws, Unchishi. <coughs> the son-in-law, it's okay to talk to the father-in-law, but you cannot talk to your mother-in-law. 
Same with the girl. The daughter-in-law can talk to the mother-in-law, but you cannot talk to your father. Father-in-law. My son-in-law. <laughs> my son-in-law never talks to me. I stay with them now. And one time he made me laugh when they had their um, their first baby. She was sitting in a in a car seat, and we had her in front of the TV. He was cooking because he's really a good cook. He likes to cook all the time. So he was cooking supper. <laughs> I came back from work and I just flopped myself down on the couch and I was just sitting there, you know, watching TV. And he says, he, baby, can you tell your grandma it's time to eat? He really said, <laughs> I jumped up and took off out the door. <laughs> I wanted to laugh really hard because I didn't expect that from him. <laughs> but he really said that to me. So I got up and I, I came back in. I said, okay, baby, tell, the, tell, him, tell your dad thank you. I'll go in and eat. I said, but he had to leave the kitchen before I can go up and get myself a plate and come back. That's how we are now. We still have that same relationship. They've been married for over 17 years, something like that. We still have that relationship. <laughs> we don't um, never talk to each other. We never sit at the same table and eat. You still call your mom, stepmom, mom, you know? And you call your stepfather, Ate. Out of respect, you have to do that. But uh, the child, it's called... Ta uh -huh. Goo. But you can't call your son-in-law and your daughter-in-law that. I mean, you can't call your son or your daughter that. You still call them by the name, you know, by their, by their, uh, their relative form. But ta, ta, this is all, I thought about this one time. I was driving around and I said, gee, I never heard that before. And this is a good time for that because there's a lot of that going on. It's, it's, it's a, what you call a stepson or what you would call a daughter-in-law, I mean a stepdaughter. But it's no longer used, nobody ever uses it. Tauzunku. And I said, that's one word that's already gone, nobody uses it. It's, but I remember that one time I was driving around and I kept thinking about it. I kept wanting to talk to my brother about it to see if there was a male and female side, but <coughs> you can still use me talk or he talk but you yourself you have to say my son or my daughter because they automatically come into your family once they come into your family it's solid you have to keep them down and the funny thing is a long time ago the Indians when when if the marriage broke up they would still claim those kids claim those kids as uh, relatives the other thing they still, my, I, my dad told me this a long time ago. He said, once there's a child involved, you, you can't break that relationship. If your son and your daughter broke up or your daughter-in-law broke up and there's a child in there, that son-in-law is still your son-in-law. Even though he went and married somebody else, he's still your son-in-law. Daughter-in-law, still your daughter-in-law, even though he married somebody else. For the sake of that kid, because you're trying to hold that kid in not having, you know, and they do that a lot nowadays. You don't have them get mad all the time. You don't have them, uh, uh, you don't have them um, angry all the time. And all the stuff that they have nowadays, all the mental problems. But otherwise, um, they have a name for that also. Adoptions, you still have them as your child. If you adopt somebody, that's your child. The family, whole family has to accept it. That's where they, they build those teoshpayas, tiwahas. You have to, they become a part of your family. And if they ever leave, no matter what, they're still a part of your family. You can't. You can't forget about them and ignore them and all that kind of stuff. They used to really be strict about it, only because they centered their whole life around 
the child, yeah, and the family. That's why they had those rules on there. A lot of that comes like that. Plus the respect. You treat each other with um, relative form. And once you start doing that, then you're going to start realizing where the respect is, how to treat each other, when to ignore each other, you know, when not to be with get together. And okay. Is that all the relationships? Anything? Anybody else? Your unchi and your tungashla are always the same. I said, unchi. Unchi chila. Kunshi. Kunshitsuku. That's funny because on my side, my kids call me this, or they call my mom this, but on my husband's side, this is what they call their grandmother. Grandmothers, great grandmothers. Same with the uh, grandfathers. Tungashila. <coughs> Rosebud, we say ka, kala, ka kala. Igubu, they say la la. Rosebud and Pine Ridge say kakala. That's what we call our grandfathers. I know, kakala. If you put the K's in the wrong, if you use the guttural, what do you think come up with? A whole different meaning. <laughs> so, those are all words for the grandparents. And it's all a term of endearment, all this. I could say Koshila if I wanted to. So those are the grandparents. Them you always have to respect. Always. I also I'm not a traditional I'm not a traditional Lakota we are. I'm not a traditional Unchichi. Because, man, I like to tease, I like to play, I like to <laughs> joke around about everything. And I, and I really joke, I really like to joke around with people. My, uh, my dad used to like to joke around, my uncles used to like to joke around. And then I have some aunties who ha are real humorous, you know. They, they make jokes about every little thing. And then I have um, my husband, I taught him how to be, be like that. And once he's learned how to be like that and he started living around here, he started realizing that all his in brother in laws can tease him and give him you know, give him heck and everything all they want, you know. And he can't fight back or he can't argue back or say anything back. So he learned how to joke around. There's a lot of humor. And powwow circuits, we sit at the drum and there's a lot of humor in there. People like to make things worse and all that, joke around. So I also I'm not a real traditional Lakota way. I'm not serious, you know. I like fun. I'm happy. I do a lot of good things that are more positive. I'm not really, I'm not serious unless I have to be.